XFX Tracking Callouts tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to motion track a callout in Final Cut Pro 10 using the built in tracking of the plugin. I'll add a callout from the Tracking Callout plugin page in the title browser onto a clip in the Final Cut Pro 10 timeline and adjust the length. If I call the inspector up, you can see that the plugin start off in track mode. This is important. I'll go back to the top of the title. In the viewer, you can see the on-screen controls. I'll move the tracking box around the object I want to track, in this case one of the windows. Then I can hit the track forward button to analyse the movement. The tracking window appears. This is very useful for checking the status of the track as you can monitor exactly the path of the tracking box. I was at the start of the title, but you can also track in reverse from the middle of the clip. As an example of speed, this is quite quickly analysing 4K footage on a 4K timeline. Don't worry if your track isn't exact, you can always go and retrack at any time without losing any template tweaks. When it's finished, I'll go back into the inspector and toggle into edit template mode. This allows me to position any of the elements where I like. I'll move the arm of the callout to the window I tracked. And also move the callout. I can check the result without rendering by just pressing play. To retrack, just toggle back into track mode. Just above that, on every plugin, tick the box to have a look at the tracking instructions. And there we have our tracking callout. In the next tutorial, we'll go into more detail about editing the callouts, including how to pin them to the frame.